What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and I'm here in Key West. We have a neuritic little pole spear here that we're gonna hopefully shoot some mangrove snapper. We have CJ's girlfriend Gabby with us and we got turkey hunter KC. Now KC's down here in Key West kind of just learning the ropes about free diving and we've been kind of lounging. It's been a lazy day and I just want to get in the water and just see if we can't get a good old mangrove snapper. So we're gonna put our dive gear on, get ready, get in this water. The water viz actually isn't too bad. Um, we did have a big storm come in last night. It's been super windy and I think we've been having some kind of some west winds. So sometimes the water's a little murky with those winds, but we're gonna hope for the best. Now this canal right here is man-made. So we're going to jump in the canal here because this is CJ's parents' house. And then we're gonna swim outside and see if we can't shoot a fish. And you know what? I'm actually gonna go in someone's backyard that you guys will know. And when I get there, y'all will know who it is. So right now we're gearing up and we're getting in the water. down and there was a nurse shark this big swimming. <laughs> mangrove snappers, some grunts. I just wanted to, I wanted to show the fans the backyard of Key West Waterman, see if they recognized it. And then you're chilling on the back porch. Too funny. Is Will home? Pearl. There are cats over there. Pearl. Cooking with clams. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Bob Ross up there in all his glory. Hey, Tipsy. Hi, Tipsy. Do you guys want to know Dexter that I just found? For real? It's probably Dibs. <laughs> he found a knife. Here, just throw it. <laughs> That's hilarious. You can totally still clean fish with this too. Huh. There you go. Did he sell the gator yet? No, I gotta pick up the thing though. Gabby just found Dibs' knife. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, it, that's sharper than the ones on your boat. you guys we're gonna go shoot some fish we gotta make our way back out of this canal go in the outskirts in the shallow waters and see if we can't find some mangrove snappers Yeah, 
<laughs> a blue crab. green so fast I'm like it's been super low tide right now how many did we get five uh, I think four nice. all right so we just got out it is cold out here but our little smorgasbord of mangrove snappers here mangrove snappers have to be 10 inches and these are well over 10 inches super fresh that one actually just kicked nerves this one's a chunker this one's got something in its belly and so does that one we're gonna see if we can't cook them over and make a little fire tonight gabby's getting out of the water it is so cold fur so i bought this cool little like fish cage thing for to put on top of the fire thank you it's not gonna hold four fish but It'll hold one and maybe we'll just put a grate over it and have some whole cook mangrove snapper Florida Keys style for dinner tonight. So super excited. You guys know my favorite meal is a whole fish. We just got done taking some photos with our little dinner here. Casey's setting up the fire. We found some wood in she CJ's shed over there. <laughs> So these little we went and chopped our own wood. So what, what did I say? You said we found it in CJ's shed. Yeah, we found the wood we, in CJ's shed. Yeah, we went and cut a tree down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we actually went and cut this tree down for ourselves to survive here on the island of Key West. But I'm obsessed with our little hole here. I love it. Um, so these little cool pole spears, these little slip tip pole spears, CJ actually sells on his website. Uh, Neuritic is his brand. He's got pole spears. He's got fins, he's got some dive gear on there. 
And this pole spear is super sick to do exactly what we did. Shoot mangrove snapper. Um, I mean, honestly, if you go in the Bahamas, you could totally shoot a hogfish with this or really anything. And it's small enough and easy enough to pull back, especially for a girl. Um, but yeah, look how big it is. Boom. There's my foot. There's some legal mangroves. I love how small it is, how efficient it is, and it's pretty powerful. CJ also has these little slip tips right here that are magnetic like that. So when you're swimming through the water, the slip tips don't fall off like a lot of your generic slip tips. So I absolutely love the magnetic slip tip. You buy that separate um, from the pole spear, but man, this is a sick little pole spear. I love it. Come here, Finley. Come here, look what I got. Come here. Come here. Look. <laughs> what is this? Finley's a little scared of the pole spear, I think. Finley. So if you guys have been watching the channel, um, that is my now one year and one month old golden retriever, Finley. He's the best, but he is a big chicken, as you can see. <laughs> So as you guys have seen me a hundred times in my videos prepare whole fish, you know we have to descale them, take all the scales off the fish, which you can use a spoon, back of a knife, or even a, any descaling tool. You have to gut the fish. Make sure you want to pull all them guts out because you do not want to cook a fish with guts or gills because it'll taste super fishy. So degill it, degut it, descale it. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna do. The sun's going down, so I'm trying to utilize all the light that we have, is you're going to score the fish. When you score the fish, you're just going to make a few slits in the meat. That way, whatever seasoning you put on the fish um, will get absorbed in the meat of the fish that you're eating. And it will help cook it a lot more evenly so the heat can get inside the fish. So a really cool thing is I was actually down here in Key West five months ago making a spear fishing video with Dibs, Dibs on bottom, AKA Key West Waterman. As you guys know, I'm on YouTube. Um, and I shot a really nice mahi off of Key West. It was actually the biggest mahi that we put into his boat all year. And Miss Madeline shot her first Wahoo. So it was just an epic day offshore. Um, but before that, Madeline, myself, and our girlfriend Kate went paddle boarding out here in the mangrove flats. It was an absolutely gorgeous day. We got some pineapple. We got some Valentine Thomas seasoning here, um, salt and pepper, olive oil, nothing crazy. We're going to season this fish. Oh yeah. I'm gonna need some light. You want light? <laughs> yeah, I phone. How many sides do you need it from? Kind of oh gosh. How much time do you need? <laughs> that's, that's right your eyes. <laughs> You've got some Are ashes you in your hair. Yeah, so, it's kind of good light. Ashes? Embers? Ashes. Ashes. Okay, so my hair is not. like dandruff. My hair is not. The only reason, I'm not saying they're on fire, it just looks like dandruff. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good light. Like, I got a paparazzi out here with all their phone <laughs> flashlights. Our fish is officially done. It's looking beautiful, crispy. Oh, it just looks so good. Go ahead and open our little great thing. This thing is so cool. I'm so happy I, I found this. Ooh, that is so hot. Check that out. All right, come on, Miss Gabby. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna go first. <laughs> Let me see. We got the, the phone Try flashlights out here. Okay, wow, it looks amazing. So Gabby is from Canada, right? Yes. That's why she, I speak funny. She has an adorable, <laughs> adorable accent. I love it. <laughs> Some backyard mangrove. Wow, it's really good with the pineapple. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Ooh, yummy. Thank you. Alright, Haley, you want some? Alright. So Haley's here taking a free diving course. She actually does a lot of photography underwater. She does like whales, sharks, manta rays, and she travels all over the world too and takes some incredible photos. Get in there. Woo! The ashes, the ashes are starting to it's like fly around. Going into the grate. Have you ever ate mangrove snapper? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
My boyfriend told me I'm greasy for eating one right now. What? <laughs> what did he say? You're <laughs> greasy. You're greasy? For what? eating a mangrove strapper. Why? What does that even mean? He had the grease water. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was like, you're greasy. Her boyfriend's out in Cabo right now catching rooster fish. Uh, San Carlo. Oh, San Carlo? We'll call it Cabo. We'll call it Cabo, Mexico. Cabo. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, go to Cabo for the roosters. <laughs> Lake's far pretty good. It's actually pretty fire. No pun intended, but that's pretty good. Actually, the skin is like so crispy with the fire. Oh my gosh. The no. skin with the char taste is my favorite. Yeah. The pineapple? Yeah, the but just like the char. Mm hmm. That crispiness. Mm -hmm. You want some? Sure. What's your name again? Kirkman. Kirkman? Yeah. Kirkland. He's diving with us tomorrow. <laughs> you can call me that. It's fine. Kirkman. A little bit of mangrove. It is good with pineapple. Right. Man, pineapple Very is just good. so good, especially on the grill or like cooked pineapple. It is absolutely amazing. But right now, this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Kelly Young, if you haven't already. I just dropped a piece of fish. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a positive comment below and we will see you guys next time. Bali, you wanna end it? See ya.